ready to go back out to the shoulder deep beach tonight. We're gonna do another night hunt. I'm gonna bring the camera tonight and you know we'll see what we can get as far as footage. Right now we're just fueling up, doing a little cooking. Got some fish on the bobby. Got a little rice going over here in this pot. But it should be an awesome night and we'll get back with you as soon as we hit the shoulder deep beach. Alright guys, my Excalibur is about to die, unfortunately. The good news is I have the backup detector for the AT Pro. I may have to switch it out, but again, I'm out here in shoulder deep water, and I got a solid mid-tone. was hoping for gold, but that's okay. We got a buffalo. You can see the Indian there. Looks like it's a smooth no date, but she's a buffalo. All right. Might have to go get the AT Pro here. I might only have a couple swipes left with the X-Scale before it dies. All right guys, I'm only a couple feet from where I found that buffalo. And I just pulled up a wheat. And you can see some really bright lights in the distance there. Some people are shining for fish here. I don't know if they're looking for pike or muskie or carp or what they're looking for. I know they're shining for the fish though. But, I'm shining for the wheat. We just got it, so. Looks like a 46. Nice little wheat penny. So, we got a nice little old spot right by this buoy. We're gonna keep at it. All right, I just dug my third wheat penny in this hole, and it sounds like I got another nickel signal down below, so. I haven't even moved a foot. Keep going. That nickel signal that I was telling you about, I just dug that out. And it was a nickel, but it came out nice and gray. That means silver war nickel. It's a P. Haven't got a date off it yet, but I can see the P up top here. Definitely got silver. All right, keep going. Looking for gold now. <coughs> All right, for about the last hour or so, just me and the bullfrogs out here digging some clad. Just pulled up a quarter. Been getting some pennies. So, still looking for that gold. It's not the, uh, it's not the gold I was hoping for, but we did get a ring. So far, it's just a little, uh, kid's junk ring. Almost looks like a pull tab, but it's a little ring. So, we're on the right track. I'm back to the buoy where I started. Uh, last time I came out here, the buoy down there, we're going to call the gold buoy. That's where I was finding the gold. And tonight, at this buoy over here, which you probably can't see, and I'm leaving it dark on purpose, but we're going to call this buoy the old buoy, because I just dug another weed. And finally, I got a piece of jewelry, and it's this cross. Now my guess is this is going to turn out to be copper, but it does have a nice little yellow patina. There's a slight chance it could be 10K, but just by the feel of it, I'm guessing that it's going to be more of a copper. But we're going to keep hitting this old buoy up tonight, and we'll see what we can turn up. Maybe we can get an old class ring out of here. I was digging, 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 and digging. And I just pulled a twofer. Uh, same scoop. Got this little number 70, as well as, uh, it looks like a clip of some sort. Might have been some suspender clip. Uh, but those both came up in the same scoop. So, there's more out here by the old buoy. Literally right next to the old buoy. Just pulled a Merc. And this is still all within a 10 by 10 area of the buffalo, the war nickel, probably about seven weedies so far, a couple old swim items. I like the old buoy, but we still need the yellow. Let's get it. I have no idea what time it is. It's still dark. It's been quite a while since my last notable find. Just got this little itty bitty chain. Uh, what it looks like? Uh, little flower copper or copper uh, main little pendant thing here just a little bracelet 
but a few more signals. We're gonna call it a night. We can always come back. I had to come up to about waist high water, but I finally dug another ring. It's not nope, not gold. Just another uh, little kid's ring. Close though. Almost. Alright. Maybe we'll get one more. Maybe one Well, we didn't find gold, but that's alright. We started hunting at 10.30. It is just a touch after 5 in the morning. The sunlight is starting to rise. Kind of through the window there. We went through two detectors as far as battery life goes. Got two rings, but they were junk. Um, we got a pendant and a little bracelet, which wasn't bad. We'll clean those up at least. And we found the old honey hole for the old coins tonight. So that was exciting, especially when my second find, I believe, was a buffalo nickel. Uh, must have got at least a dozen, maybe 15 wheats, a Merc. Um, two nickels that were 47s and a war nickel, which I'm not sure on the year, but I know it is a war nickel. So that'll narrow it down for the years anyway. It was a P. But it was exciting to get back out there. I know there's more, especially a little bit deeper. So we'll see. We'll get out there. We'll hunt it again. But for now, I'm going to go find some breakfast. Last night the ex gal died after about oh, 15 minutes of hunting, which was unfortunate because we were off to a hot start, so you know that caused a little bit of delay having to go back and switch out detectors. But I always carry two detectors with me in the car. Um, both are you know waterproof because you never know what type of hunting you're going to get into on any given day. We've got the ex gal, which of course we can submerge completely, and then we've got the Garrett AT Pro, which is still fully charged with fresh batteries and that's still sitting in the car so we've got it on the charger we're gonna put a little more silicone here on the connectors just so we make sure that that seal is good waterproof we don't need anything getting up into the batteries all right here's the wrap up from the hunt we didn't do too bad but we were out there for seven and a half hours and of course I was hoping for some more goodies but it was kind of tough digging, especially in the dark. But you can see, you know, we did okay. One of the rings that I dug, it's a little American ring, or American flag ring. And the other ring is just, you know, a junk ring. Something you probably get out of a quarter vending machine. And we got some other little jewelry here. This is actually a cool little barrette. Um, it's got some intricate little designs kind of through it. And... This one I might actually keep. Usually these little hair pieces I throw away, bobby pins and things like that. But this one's actually unique, so we'll keep that. We also got this little heart pendant, and there's two hearts there. Of course, along with this chain, which I believe the chain is silver, but again, it's very small. And uh, we got a religious pendant here. That wasn't a bad little find. Of course, in the middle of the night, you see a little bit of yellow shining through, and you get really excited. But not gold, unfortunately. All right, on to the coins. We did pick up eight wheat pennies over by the old buoy. Of course, we checked for the gold buoy, and she wasn't ready to give out any more gold. But we did pick up the eight wheat pennies. I dug two nickels that are 47s, and then I also dug two nickels that are war nickels. And I thought, or I knew I had one last night. I didn't know I dug two. But I double checked and it looks like they're both peas. So we got double silver there. As well as a mercury dime that we really need to electrolysis, get it cleaned up. And I believe this was my second signal of the night. This you know, got me excited right from the get-go. Of course, that's why I was expecting gold. If I'm digging nickel signals for one, two, one of those nickels and it's your second target of the night is a buffalo nickel. <laughs> yeah, you know, when you're when you're in the water, these are a rare find, so obviously I was excited for that. Got a few more uh, beach swimming paraphernalia here. 
got a little plastic whistle that just came up in the scoop uh, with the suspender strap. Plaid and the bad. Did dig up a little fishing lure, but it's pretty beat up. So, all in all, it was a good little haul, but that's a lot of work for seven hours and to not come away with gold. We'll get out there as soon as we can, though. Uh, hit it up again, work the buoys, maybe go out a little bit further, try in by the raft. We'll cover the entire area pretty thoroughly because this spot is producing. We'll even work outside the swim area, too, just in case. Uh, at one time, it may have been a little bit larger, so we'll give it a go, and we'll keep digging, and we'll keep it posted. Well, it was a long hunt. I was up for 22 hours straight, took a two and a half hour nap, and tomorrow we have a new adventure ahead of us. We're going to take you through the steps on how to build a relic sifter tomorrow. I'm going to go to the hardware store, we're going to pick some things up, and we'll go ahead and do a little video on that because I did just buy a new house and I do want to rip up pretty much the entire yard. <laughs> so we're gonna go through, we're gonna dig up the yard at least about six inches. We're gonna sift the entire yard. Nope, this is not the yard. This is a lot of yard to be digging. But I bought a house in town. It's an eight, it was built in 1890. So of course I'm expecting some goodies to be you know, underneath that ground. And we're going to sift it out. We've got a magnet ready to go to catch any of the nails. And hopefully, you know, a couple of nice items end up on the top of our sifter. So we're going to take you through that process tomorrow. And we'll have some fun doing it. And just remember, keep swinging for the ring.